Man, I died. I this episode is sponsored by Jason Stevenson. Jason's a good mate of mine who offers free guided meditations on his YouTube channel and website, jasonstevenson.net. Feel free to check it out. Really good to calm the mind and prepare yourself for these altered states. Thank you and enjoy the video. So, how would you sum up today? Oh my god. There is a plan. <laughs> <laughs> there is a plan? This is how I can put it in words. No, I'm joking. Um, but not really. It <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Everything's connected. We are part of it. And we might as well enjoy it. here in Hawaii and I'm about to do my first DMT trip in about three years. It might be over here it's what two years? You've been like quite recently but yeah so but this is gonna be super low intensity. Yeah. It's gonna be very it's, it's, light. yeah it's not gonna be a breakthrough holy shit death by astonishing that's what they say. Yeah right man I died I died <laughs> Then, so let it be, but it's not the. Yeah, right? It's like, oh no, this is gonna be the smoothest trip you've ever had. And it's like, like ah! Fuck you, Lila, you told me it's gonna be smooth. <laughs> you come back and you're hitting me, you know? <laughs> It'll be like, thank you, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, let's see. I think it's gonna be okay. Very chill, very recreational, and very. Visuals exactly. In the it, middle of nature. We're not taking ourselves too seriously and facing our demons or anything yeah. like that. So, a light trip. See how it go. I've had a bit of like mixed reactions with DMT because I think my last one was. Uh, it's actually on my channel. I talk about having experiences with jesters, so, which was a bit unsettling. But I was much ungrounded at that stage of my life. So, a lot of unresolved shit. You know, and that's the problem when you don't. Look at your traumas, they can come out in ugly ways if you're not prepared, so. But this is all good. I couldn't think of a better country to do this. I don't know where the trip will end up. It depends on you. So my idea was, of course, if you guys are comfortable, that each of us just choose a rock or a crystal that just like kind of resonates more with the moment now and just ask that smoothly it will like you know teach us the way it has to yeah. and just whichever one attracts you more and then we have these things if we need sounds in the middle if we want i only brought this tree this two that pinkish one that that one you want this one and you Thank want you. this one Ooh. Whoa. how about me i think it's chakra of knowledge so I always like to use stones like this is the stone for example of this chakra so like uh, and this one is to feel more grounded which is really what you were saying yeah cool. it's the root chakra <laughs> and I always like to just you know bring stuff that connect to this chakra because it allows knowledge to you know come in case you're watching this and you're like oh my god I have to do all these crystal things and all the incense you don't it's just a, a choice like yeah. All you have to do is hit yeah. this. Exactly. But, hey. I like that you made that clear. That, yeah, you don't have to do any of this shit. But, like, yeah, we like but it. we like it. Exactly. <laughs> like, like yeah. why not? You don't have to be a shaman, but you can practice shamanism. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So do I have to inhale like... Uh, you pull it and long... All the in, way. Yeah. Long, 
and wait, yes, and then more than once. Probably. More than once. Once will be super smooth, like really so. really smooth. Yeah, but don't have to be quick. You can be in your pace. Like okay. This. You can guide me as I go, right? I would do two for the first. Okay. And then later, if you want, because it's really very. All right, guys. All right, but this is it. Yes, let's do this. It's gonna be good. A little bit, <laughs> man. I, I was there. They, they all hear me. They all hang it out with us. They all hear me. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> What? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Breathe. Be there. The power of breath. Man, I died. I died. I was... I was there. It's crazy. It was like a party of cats and like crystal color, like the water being, like laughing. I was like, it's okay, it's okay, it's so good. Take it easy, yeah. breathe. And reincarnations coming and going, and there's like, okay, this human thing is not working here, let it go. The human thing doesn't work here. Just breathe and explore and like observe. It was like an apartment, literally just hanging from here. Like a beautiful modern apartment full of like mirrors and windows and there was cats, so many cats and I saw the you cats. Know this, did you know this island is full of cats? There's a problem. That makes so much sense. And this they, is invaded by cats. It's a I overpopulation saw it. There of is cats. There is a, a cat goddess here and that nice. goddess was destroying. So it was the god of destruction, but it was beautiful. I was not afraid and it was right here. And fuck, it she was, it was not. Too. It was not human. It was like the soul, man. Wow, DMT, death. <sighs> yeah. See. You guys are so Thank warm. You so much. I love you guys. You're <laughs> so human. Oh man. Wow, like you almost know how to breathe and operate there, you know, like my soul knew how to react and how to move and how to be there. I was like, fuck the human. My body's like around there. I'm going to be here right now. This feels mm. more human right now. Mm. While my brain releasing DMT, I feel more comfortable there than here, you know? Yeah. Interesting. This is the third dimension. Yeah, I fully went there. And how did you feel when you got back to this reality? Amazing. I feel the same, like at home. Yeah. I'm happy. And when I was there, I was like, this is amazing, but I can't wait to go back. And not that I can't wait, but it's, I'm happy to go back to my body, with my mates, with my mom, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, with yeah. this world. Totally. Totally. Wow. This is home. This is home. It's beautiful being human. Wow, yeah. I will do it again, actually. And um, what, were, what were you saying about this? The, this is the root chakra, so yeah. the low vibration of the root chakra, when you need to heal it, which we can, um, it actually helps you pass that. But anyways, it's it's about fear, right? Like the low vibration of the, yeah. of the root chakra is fear. 
and yeah. I mean these crystals they that's what came up that yeah. was like the main but it's not like this brings emotion. you fear but no, no. it's you know what I mean it it heals the energy that is also responsible for fear when it's in its right. lower state so it helps you say. transmute yeah fear, fear yeah. exactly and just like kind of be more relevant to fear I don't know for me after hearing him say because I always have my crystals so yeah. for me it's always kind of like this but now that he's just like telling us how it was crystal looking gods I was like wow that's always what I connect to and that's maybe because I always have my stones asking for it and you know this is yeah I just ask for these creatures this like knowledge just to like guide me through whatever I need to learn and I was always I was like wow teach us with love 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 and I was like grateful grateful like teach us teach us guide us guide yeah. us you know like for all these creatures that are not humans but they're they're all looking at us, you know, they're looking yeah, what we're so doing. How, how was your experience? Like, what did you... I just felt joy see, yeah. in my entire body and I, I felt grateful for being hum Like, not humble, but like for being smaller than something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, not like, ah, I want to be bigger than this, but it was like, wow, wow, you're... Wow, thank you, like, teach us, teach us, like, you know? Yeah. And it was like, wow, and I could feel it. And then I went like this, like this, and then I just, like, felt something to move. So I began, do, began doing this and I felt a spiral inside of me with the combo of the two, with the energy of the ocean and the forest like going inside of me like wow this is perfect, thank you, thank you and I was looking at you guys and I'm like they're exactly where they need to be, I'm glad they're here, I'm glad I'm here, I'm get, glad you guys guided us here, you know, it was yeah. just like very smooth, very smooth, thank you 100% guys. here, looked at my body, saw it like kind of woo 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 -woo, and then obviously, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then you're like, of course, this isn't me, but I recognize it. I know this is a tool that is necessary. Okay, I look at you. I see your vibrations. I look at it around and I see its vibration. And I know this is nothing is this, not even us. But I know this is a tool, so we wow. experience what we need. The cat is there. The cat is there. And there's a one, Ganesha was there. Ganesha was there so much for me. She was the one that welcomed me. The one, like the, the elephant. He's like, welcome, and then everything, I'm in this orange and red room, yes. and there's orange like all this, red. like, and they're all like moving, and there's like this fractal, and then some mouse come approach me, and like, <sighs> in my face, and then I'm like, you're part of all of this, you're amazing, and I start to feel joy for it, and then it starts to like, wow, and then it starts to go away, and I'm like feeling joy for being there, you know? And I'm just like feeling joy, joy, joy. And I was like, wow, this is what I choose to sing. And then I felt the sun so much. I feel like the closest thing I can compare God, like God, is the sun. Yeah. For me. It's like direct, same impact. I feel like the word bug has a massive vibration. Like, I was, I saw a bunch of people, like this was just this. Fuck! Like, so about fuck! Fuck! And this, fuck. this. Yes, yes. For me, it wasn't this. It was this. What? And I was like, why? Why? I don't see this. Why? I don't understand. Uh, why? And then I left. I was like, you're, but you're part of the all. You're still beautiful. Why not? <laughs> like, if the all is beautiful. It's intense. Then the fuck too. The word fuck is part because of everything. Too. You guys well, went like, to the same realm. Well, similar realm. Dude, it sounds like it. Red and orange. So much. Red and orange. Realm. And it's all. I always go there. That's what I was telling you about the colors that I asked you. I feel like this is because of the land. In Australia, I've, I've never been there. I always go there. That's the only realm that I could actually go. It's so warm here. It's the sun, dude. Oh, man. The sun has something. It's like bloody hippies. No, I'm joking. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel it. I feel you. I want to do... I'm kind of like... Oh, maybe I should do another one. But. Yeah, I was I was thinking too. I thought you had first. No, 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 I didn't. And I don't know why, but I'm just feeling it. And then I want to do, if you allow me, like, can we try to heal this root chakra? Can we yes, do please. like a yeah. diksha? Yeah, because okay. when I was there, I was like, I really thought of you so much. I, just you. I not my mom, not anyone. I was like, I wish Tom could be like here with me. Like, Dude, Tom, you need to be here, bro. I woke up, like I came back and I'm like, how about Tom? Literally. And I was like, did you have another one? And he's like, no. And I don't know. He needs to go, I feel. Dude, and look at this rock. It's his rock. It's the color of... 
Yep, just another day in Hawaii. It's what we do. Amazing. <laughs> Existence is amazing, guys. Existence is amazing. Exactly. Wow. All you need is love. One, one love. love. One love. And that was like my last trip. I said, at the end of the day, it all, yeah. it's all love. It's all love. It's funny all how love. we come back with like quotes. It was like, I see you. Oh, hold on. You good? <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry. It's because I undid the temple, so I was like, ooh. <sighs> Anyways, so for me it was really, I'm thankful and I ask for guidance. I'm thankful and I ask for guidance, but I'm in Portuguese, thankful. but this in the back of my hand full time. The 10 minutes probably that we want. Beautiful. So my trip overall was quite interesting. My first hit took me to the very same place that I went into my last DMT trip, which was this very jester, trickster, fractal labyrinth type of space. And I noticed that some anxiety and fear came up, but instead of letting it consume me, like I did the last few trips, I just observed and witnessed it. You know, kind of thinking like, well, that's interesting. I have a lot of fear coming into this place. I wonder why that is. And during certain moments of the trip, I felt like it was gonna take me to a completely different space, but I was like, oh, I don't know, like I wanted to just stay in the in the human earth realm. So I didn't let go as much as I could have, but at the same time, I didn't really want to have a breakthrough death by astonishment experience. Um, so I decided to just stay on earth. Now the second trip I had, which Mati and Lila guided me through was very different compared to any DMT trip I've had in the past. This was no visuals, no fractals, no unsettling alien sort of feeling like these interdimensional beings are communicating with me through this unfathomable language. It was just a feeling of love that came over, seriously, like, um, like mother nature nurturing me in her arms. You know, that at the end of the day, it all comes down to love. Yes, there's all these fucked up dark shit going on in this planet. Yes, there's a lot of suffering. Yes, you've gone through hell. But it's all for a reason. This is one chapter leading on to the next and it's hard to know where the story is going to end up but there is always purpose to everything. And at the end of the day, it's all good. It's all love. Mm -hmm.